To begin the actual installation of AutoCAD 2012, you'll simply insert your DVD, go here to the Install tab, but before you begin, we'll point out that you can use the Installation Help link and here, which will bring you to this screen, which has various links for things like FAQ documents, the Network Admin Guide, Licensing Guide, and Troubleshooting Guides. If you go to the Install and Deploy FAQ, you'll be brought here. Now you can select a variety of topics here that could assist you with your install if you have any problems. Other than that, you simply click the Install link and away you go. The first thing you'll do is acknowledge the licensing requirements, proceed to Next. You'll then enter in your valid serial number, product key, and the licensing type. So in this case, this is a standalone license, but if it were a network license, please make sure to select Network here. Followed by Next. Now we come to the Install Configuration screen, where we get to decide which products will be installed, and we can check and see whether there are any updates or whether there are any custom options for our installation. What we'll do here is go to the core AutoCAD 2012 portion of the install, and we'll click here where it says Click to Open and Configure. What we'll see is we have the option for a typical or a custom installation. By default, the Express Tools will be installed, and also by default, we'll get a desktop shortcut. Obviously, you can switch these off if you'd like, or you could go to a custom install if you'd like by clicking here. And now you can simply look at the listing of features, and you could select to turn some of these off if you wanted to. You can always use the Restore Defaults button to go back to the default installation mode. I'll switch back to Typical. You'll also see that when this is run, that the system will check for the most up-to-date service pack for your AutoCAD 2012 software. Now, at the time of this recording, there was no service pack to AutoCAD 2012, so everything is up to date. But if a service pack had been detected, you could click to include it here, and it would actually be installed at the same time as the core install, so you would not have to go back after the fact and apply a service pack. Once you're done selecting your options, you simply click here to close and return to product, and you note the little highlight on the glyph indicating that we've made some modifications to our settings. We can check here for the Autodesk Inventor Fusion support, which will be installed by default. We can open that, and here we can actually see an example where a service pack has been detected. When the service pack is detected, you can instruct the installer to use the service pack, and then you can go ahead and download it so that the files will be buffered onto the current machine. Once the download is complete, you'll receive notification. The service pack is ready for install, and that will be it. Now we can go back up here and click Close to Return. Now we're ready. All we have to do at this point is go ahead and click the Install button and wait for everything to process, which we'll do. And after the processing is complete, you'll receive a confirmation screen showing you which products have been successfully installed. All you need to do now is press the Finish button and get to work using your new software.